All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking once again about that weekend winter storm that's gonna be coming up starting tomorrow. I'm actually gonna have a snowfall forecast in this video, so this is gonna be a very, very detailed final forecast for this storm. Now, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends and family if they do live in the impacted regions. Let's get right into things. First things first, we're looking at our warnings, watches, and advisories, and you can see we have two areas of winter weather advisories. We have one there in between northern New Jersey there and then in through eastern central Pennsylvania, and then we have some there for western Virginia and the portions of eastern West Virginia. That's very confusing to talk about <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, now, let's move on to our little storm track map here, and this is going to be very telling about the conditions that we're going to be feeling for different regions. Now we're starting out with our lower chance of accumulation slash snow showers. This area is going to be some chance of accumulation, but really it could be a dusting to an inch, if anything, within this region. And there's, you know, it's probably going to be snow showers, not as heavy of snow, things like that. Maybe some mixing going on. I'm going to talk about where I expect some mixing issues as well. Now let's add our second layer here, and this is going to be our better chance at accumulation and could be major and it just depends on what your definition of major is it's going to be the most major in this storm so i'm not expecting this to be a major winter storm at this point uh but it could be the most major of any other regions within that storm relative to the rest of the regions within this time frame if that makes sense so i'm not expecting a major winter storm at this point with this one but uh, we could see a general 3 to 6 inches of snow and maybe even 6 to 10 in some higher elevation areas. So it's probably a moderate snowstorm is what I'd call it for some regions. Now we're about to move on and we're going to look at a map where I'm going to talk about some other things like mixing issues. And then we're going to start talking about our future cast radar in a very high resolution manner. All right, so first things first, we're going to be looking at this map, and this is my map that I went ahead and made. It doesn't say anything, so I'm just going to talk about it, uh, but in these pink areas is where I'm expecting for the chance for either a disappointment or a kind of surprising amount of snowfall compared to what I'm about to show you in this video. These are kind of the wild card areas, and I might start doing this with some snowstorms because there's always kind of some areas that you think could either... I overperform or really just underperform, uh, and these are those regions for this storm. First one is just to the north of the Finger Lakes regions, Watertown, and then north of Buffalo through areas like Syracuse. In this area, we look for the high potential for temperatures to be a little bit too warm and we see a lot of rain mixing in. But also, if it's just a tad bit colder, we could see much more snow than what's anticipated. We're expecting a general one to three inches of snow in this region, though. Now, there also is one there for the Green Mountains down through some of the Berkshires, and that's an area that could deal with I'm expecting a dusting to three inches of snow, but we do have some potential for three to six inches of snow as well, again, depending on the temperatures there. And then some of those hilly regions south of the White Mountains in New Hampshire as well. Uh, it's the same story, kind of as a Green Mountain area. And then there for northern New Hampshire and northern Maine, I'm expecting some mixing to start and snow to finish, but we could see a little bit more snow or a little bit less snow for this region, and that's why that area is a wild card as well. All of these regions, if you live in these, expect kind of a wonky system here where things could either overperform or underperform, like I said before. All right, now we're about to move on to our future cast radar where we're going to get a very detailed look of what the radar could look like moving forward and where we could expect to see some heavy snow and at what points you could expect to see that. So let's start out at the beginning of the storm here for the eastern United States. And we do see some snow going on for Michigan by this point in northern Michigan. I wanted to mention that. But we can see that we have some low pressure located near the borders of Tennessee, Virginia, and North Carolina there in the corner. Very, very broad low pressure. So it's not going to be too big of a deal, though. We have a lot of moderate to heavy rain here going on for Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, North Carolina, and Virginia by this point. And this is going to be by kind of this evening, which is Friday, January 24th. Let's head on towards, hmm, this is probably about 4 a.m. on Saturday, January 25th. And we see some very heavy, maybe even thunderstorms there from Maryland, D.C., down through Virginia and North Carolina. Things are going to be a little bit warmer, uh, but it's going to cool down after this front comes through, obviously. Um, we do see some rain going on for New York and northern Pennsylvania, and obviously this is a little bit concerning for accumulation in my mind because I know that this is going to kind of soak the ground and kind of lead to a little bit of slowdown uh, you know, of pace. It's going to take a few hours for it to start sticking, so we have to take that into account. Also, look at Ohio. We have some snow going on in western Ohio by this point. 
Uh, we have some mixing going on, possibly in Pennsylvania and New York overnight. Let's head towards about 10 a.m. And you can see those thunderstorms have, by this point, passed a lot of Virginia. But they're, they're on the Delmarva, southeastern Pennsylvania, thunderstorms potentially, or at least heavier showers, as well as coastal North Carolina. We do have some snow popping in for some reason, regions of Pennsylvania and New York, some mixing going on for some regions, a lot of slop in this part of the storm. And what I'm kind of eyeballing is that there's going to be a first half of the storm and a seven, second half to the storm. And this first half isn't really going to be where we're going to get our snow. Uh, and this was again by 10 a.m. Let's move more towards the afternoon and evening. This is maybe by about 3 p.m. on Saturday, January 25th. And we see a little bit more blue popping up for New York and Pennsylvania. But again, it's a lot of rain as well. And that's going to be soaking a lot of these regions as well. Pennsylvania, or we see Ohio and Indiana getting a lot of snow by this point as well. Let's move on towards more of the evening time. And this is maybe going to be by about dinner time. I'd say I'd say about 6 p.m. on Saturday. And still more and more blues popping up. Maybe some rain showers there for New York City, New Jersey, southern New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. We're also getting some soaking rain for southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, and southern Maine on this model. This is one of the warmer models, but it does have that back end half that I was telling you guys about. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. We're about to move on and start to see a lot more snow as we move towards Saturday night into Sunday. This is where things are going to start to get really cooler. We're going to start to see our second half of this storm play in where we could see some snow for upstate New York, Pennsylvania, and portions of New England as well. All right, and this is maybe by about 9 p.m. on Saturday, January 25th still, and we see a lot of blue there in northern New York. That's some pretty hilly regions up there and pretty far north regions, so it is going to be a bit cooler than surrounding regions up there. So we could see some moderate to heavy snow in this first area of precipitation that moves in. Also notice northern Ohio getting some light to moderate snow, Indiana, Michigan, as well as portions of western Pennsylvania by the time we're reaching Saturday night into Sunday. And we do have some rain for Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island still, as well as southern New, ha New Hampshire and southern Vermont there. Let's move on towards about 1 a.m. And you can see coastal Maine getting some heavier rain and then maybe some freezing rain or sleet or snow, some sort of mixed precipitation there for the northern half of New Hampshire and the northern half of Maine as well. Then we see some back end snow showers starting up there for New York, and that's really going to be our second half of the storm that's starting up. Let's move on a frame, and you can see it looks like it's moved out. We still have that mixed precipitation for northern Maine. This is by Sunday morning, but we're starting to see more snow showers for New York. Then by the time we reach about, hmm, this is probably 10 a.m. on Sunday, January 26th, we see some more moderate snow showers there for New York. Uh, and let's move on towards the afternoon hours, maybe 4 p.m. here. And we see northern New York, this is maybe by Watertown, and then up through uh, some of the Adirondacks as well. We're seeing that moderate to heavy snow move in. Uh, and then by time we reach kind of dinner time, I would say it's about 6 p.m. would be a good estimate on Sunday, January 26th. We see that more moderate to heavy snow move in Vermont, New Hampshire. Then at about 8 p.m. on Sunday still, we see the snow moves into northern Maine. It's still getting lake effect enhanced in some of those New York regions, Vermont, New Hampshire, we're still seeing snow. So that's where a lot of our accumulation is going to happen. Now we're about to move on to our modeled snowfall forecasts and then actually our official snowfall forecast, which is going to be both very exciting to take a look at here. All right, first things first, here's our NAM model, which is the one we were just looking at. And you can see a general one to three inches of snow there for the border of Pennsylvania near Erie, Pennsylvania, up through areas like Buffalo. And then you can see that in-between area that I had in the pink shade in our wild card area near the Finger Lakes has a little bit less. But to your north, near the Adirondacks and Watertown, we have more and more and more. And in those purples, we're even looking at three to six inches of snow, and the pink is indicating six to 12 inches of snow. Some, some more heavier snow there for the Adirondacks. Vermont in the mountainous regions, we're looking at a general one to three inches of snow, like I said. And then in the White Mountains through northern Maine, also looking at a general one to three inches of snow, even though I think there's a good chance for three to six inches of snow for these regions. Now, looking at the GFS, it's a bit heavier, but I'm not buying this. This is a medium range model, and we're really in the short range, so we shouldn't be using this model too much. But I just wanted to show it here. It has a little bit more purples and a little bit more pinks, as you can see. 
Now, here's my official snowfall forecast. First things first, starting out with our dusting to three inch region. And this is going to be anywhere from Ohio, Michigan, which is going to be a little bit more scattered out there, as you saw in our futurecast radar. And then we see Pennsylvania, especially the western half, getting some snow showers that could lead to a dusting to maybe one or two inches of snow. Then down through West Virginia and through Virginia and portions of Tennessee, those very mountainous regions, we could have some mountaintop dustings of snow. A lot of upstate New York at least getting a dusting. And then the more central mountainous regions of Vermont, same story with New Hampshire and then the northern half of Maine as well. Let's move on to our three to six inch regions. And we have three of these, one there for Erie, Pennsylvania, up through Buffalo, New York. That's going to be lake effect enhanced, leading to some more snowfall for those regions. And then the Adirondacks and Watertown areas like that. Again, you saw why we had that. And then the White Mountains through northern New Hampshire, north of the White Mountains, and then the very northern regions of Maine as well. And we even have a 6 to 10 inch region, or three of them actually, one for the middle portion there uh, to the south of Buffalo, one to the north of Syracuse, and then one there for the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.